We actually had a front row. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So today I have a very, very exciting video for you guys because I am taking my mum to the Fort Park Resort. I took her to Fort Park back during Fright Nights last year. Some of you guys might remember that video where I took her in the infamous Creek Freak Massacre maze. But yeah, ride-wise, she's not a massive fan of rides. She used to do Colossus and Swarm back in the day, but she said she'll never, ever, ever go on the likes of Stealth and Saw. So today, I'm almost giving myself a bit of a mission to get her on the beauty that is Stealth. But I'll completely understand if she doesn't want to. But yeah, bright and early in the morning now. We're getting there for park opening. So I'm just off to the train station to go and pick her up. And I can't wait to spend the day at the Fort Park Resort with my mum. Let's go. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Let me move that for you. I have got for you your one of the very first. SLK SDN face mask to wear for the day. Look at that. That'll keep you safe on the rides, on stealth. <laughs> yes, maybe. Right, let us head to the park. You excited for today? Yeah. I was saying, you used to take me back in the day, didn't you? Many, many years ago. Yes, definitely. And now we're heading back. Yep. Should be a fun one. So we are now in the park. I can't lie, I've got so much hand sanitizer on my hand. You excited though, Mum? Yeah. Where are we heading first? I don't know. I know. I think we should hit a roller coaster whilst the queues are short. Oh, really? But which one? I don't know. Straight to stealth? No. <laughs> uh, you like Colossus, yeah. don't you? Yeah, let's do Colossus. Maybe we'll head to Colossus. I haven't actually done it this season, so um, it should be nice to get on that. And hopefully, the queue won't be too long. It's literally just gone 10 o'clock. So yeah, let's head through the beautiful dome to Colossus. Let's go. <laughs> Not a fan of that. So unfortunately Colossus isn't quite ready yet, so instead I think the plan is we're going to head round to Nemesis Inferno. Beautiful. Are you excited for that one? Yeah. Thing is you are safe with Colossus, you've done it before. Yeah. I don't know if you've... Have you? Yeah. What, Inferno? Yeah, I'm sure I've done it here. Ah, oh, you're good then, you're good. I'll tell you what, it's been absolutely years since I've been in this part of the Nemesis queue. It goes right under the lift hill. I forgot this part of the queue even existed, to be honest. But obviously, that's all been done for social distancing. We've got the yellow markers right down here. We have also come to the decision that mum has never done Inferno. She's done the original at Alton Towers, but never Nemesis Inferno. So this will be her first time doing it. Originally, when this ride reopened for the 2020 season, this whole cattle pen part of the queue was being used, and obviously, it's not great for social distancing because although, like this way, you're two meters apart, that way, you're absolutely not. You're literally next to each other. So, big up Fort Park, they've closed off this area just to help with social distancing. We have just had our first ride of the day on Nemesis Inferno. Great news, the SLK SDN face mask stayed on beautifully. Yours stayed on as well, right? Yeah, very comfy. Oh, beautiful. How was your ride, Mum? We actually had a front row. Very good, Arch. Sorry. That's better than the other <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. No, you were, you were very scared going into it, didn't you? You were yeah. persuaded to go on front row. <laughs> and it wasn't too bad, was it? It wasn't too bad. Kept the eyes closed on a lot of My mum doesn't like um, the height mainly, so this one I feel like it was alright because you've got the floor underneath you. Yeah. Oh, and this is great to see. The Nemesis shop is now open. Let's have a look through here. Previously, this shop has been closed for um, social distancing regions. Oh, okay. So it's similar to the Colossus shop 
in that you can browse and then um, if you want to go in you can go in through that door over there but yeah wonderful ride on nemesis inferno there let's head to our next one So we've just come off our second ride of the day, Colossus. It has been absolutely ages since I last rode that. Look at that. Really, really enjoy getting back on Colossus. How do you find it, Mum? Yeah, very good. It's one of your favourite rides here, isn't it? You like it? Yeah. Apart from the barrel roll bit. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, that ride very much gave me a Vietnam flashback to when myself and Archie Deves rode this 36 times in one day if you haven't seen that video the link's up there but yeah we went upside down 360 times that day don't know if did that. i don't think i could ever do that again um no it's beautiful to get back in colossus we're actually the first train of the day love yeah. the music on that ride it just sounds so cool and it was nice getting back in that station for 2020 never normally ride it to be honest it's quite a quite a rough coaster but no today it was running it was running all right no queue no no yes. queue So we're now heading onto the Dodgeons. Once again, haven't done this in the 2020 season. And look who it is. It's Mr. Gigabyte himself from the launch podcast, my roommate. He's operating the Dodgeons today. Do you enjoy your ride on the Dodgeons there? Yeah, it's very good. I'll tell you what, once again, I haven't been on the Dodgeons in so long. Saw Luke operating and we thought, yeah, why not? Good to see Gigabyte in there, loving life. Yeah, beautiful little Dodgeons ride, a nice little break from the roller coasters. Look where we're heading now. <laughs> Towards Stealth. Do you think we'll get you on it today? No. <laughs> I don't know, there's a bit of hesitation there. <laughs> As mum said, the last time she was in this Stealth Plaza was Fright Nights, wasn't it? And you were getting terrorised, if I remember rightly, yep. by one of the vampires. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good times, eh? Maybe not everything! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously Amity High took place just on this plaza. Absolutely fantastic show. It was a new edition for Fright Nights 2019. And uh, fingers crossed we'll be seeing something similar for Fright Nights 2020. Um, thank you all guys so much for all of the likes on the previous video. I said to give a video a thumbs up if you wanted a Fright Nights speculation video. And I will be filming one of those very soon. Got some exciting stuff to um, discuss with you guys. But yeah, I don't think we're going to go on stealth quite yet. Um, we'll probably head around to Rumba Rapids now. Have another um, chill ride. But I think we can get her on this today. I think we can try. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had a ride there on Rumba Rapids, surprisingly didn't get wet at all did we nope. hardly a drop on us <laughs> but uh, now we've ventured into the lovely old town um to have a bit of lunch and no we're not doing an archie stevens and getting his famous curly fries from over there as we walked in you were remembering creek creek massacre yeah. the most intense maze to uh, apparently ever be at fright nights and you did it uh, twice, I think, in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, twice. It was mental, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely mental. As I said, I will be making a little Fright Nights 2020 speculation video, so be sure to subscribe to be notified when I talk about all of that stuff. Yeah? Oh, yes. Fanta Lemon. Let's go. So we just had a lovely bit of lunch, and we've strolled round to Quantum, well, we're just having a look. We're just having a look. We're oh. just having a look. Just having a look. Uh, you don't like the, the airtime feeling I'd like to describe it. She's done them as Inferno and Colossus. She can't do Quantum, one of the tamest rides here. Different feeling. Different feeling. I, I get it, but we're just giving it a watch. You were wondering how high it was, and I said it's, it's about that, but on top. So not too high, 
got a lovely view of the park from up there now that they've um, cut down some of these trees. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I've only done this um, once this season. It was quite tame to be fair compared to previous seasons, but that was it too, on like opening weekend. So yeah, it might have ramped it up a bit, but I don't know. We might be going on it. We're just having a look. Just, just having a look. look. Just having a look. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh dear. It's a no. It's too... <laughs> <laughs> So we've made our way to the other side of the park now, where rather than going this way to the swarm, where are we going, Mum? Flying fish. We're going on the flying <laughs> fish, yeah. I haven't done this yet this season, so it's, I'm quite excited for this one. Just had a lovely ride on flying fish, full lap special, absolutely brilliant to get back on that. Did you enjoy it? That was fun. I think it was four laps, wasn't it? Cool, was but yeah, it was more than we normally have, and it was fantastic. Waving to the operator, it was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Waving and doing far, oh, brilliant. And uh, we were going to head on Swarm, maybe, but it's quite a long queue. Uh, you're not too keen on the idea, are you? Yeah. You've done it before, but it's a drop. The big uh, 127 foot inverted drop puts you off a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it took me off even more. <laughs> but no, Swan's definitely one of the scarier rides here, I'd say. Just purely because of that monster of a drop up there. But yeah, it's alright, we'll go and head to another ride. But yeah, flying fish, great to get back on. So I'm now here on the um, Tidal Wave Bridge, which is an area of the park that I have to say, I never ever come. A, because I normally don't go on Tidal Wave, and B, you only really come onto this bridge once you've done Tidal Wave. But um, no, at the moment, Tidal Wave is looking very different to how it has in previous years. There's absolutely no water um, in this little lake, and uh, doing a bit of construction on it. Um, Obviously just some maintenance, nothing too major, but yeah, hopefully it won't be too long at all before Tidal Wave is back open, just in time for the summer and the beautiful weather. I don't think today would be a Tidal Wave day, eh Mum? It's a bit, um, so. bit overcast, you know, we used to end all of our Fort Park days on a ride on Tidal Wave, didn't we? Yeah. And we get on the Fort Park <laughs> bus and get the train back, um, but no, not today obviously. Um, hopefully it won't be too long before Tidal Wave is back open again. So we are now heading on for a ride on Mr. Monkey's Banana Eyed. Don't know what's happened to the R there. Not ideal, but uh, yeah. Haven't done this this season yet, so it'll be great to get back on. So we just had a ride on Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride. That ride is actually a mad example of the Mandela Effect, because a lot of people think it's called Mr. Monkey's Banana Boat. But no, Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride, unless you're queuing, which is Mr. Monkey's Banana Eyed. Did you enjoy that though, Mum? Yeah, very good. You actually get a fair amount yeah, of airtime on, on there, that, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I was re ranting and raving, saying how good Jolly Rocker was at Legoland, but yeah, you get a fair amount of airtime on that, actually. Better than um, the Blade that I did earlier this week up at Towers. It's one of the best pirate ships in the UK, I'd say. Yeah, it was very good. I think you could definitely do Quantum after doing that, though. Nah, still a no, still a no. But yeah, we got Ghost Train over here. Have you done Ghost Train before? No. no. Unfortunately, it's closed at the moment due to social distancing. It is literally a dark ride, so the whole thing takes place in this building. So completely understandable why it's not open, but fingers crossed they'll be able to get it open eventually and you'll finally get a ride on it. Yeah. Here's a fun fact for you guys. I believe this is the longest information board at a UK Merlin theme park. It's an infamous information board just because it's so long with all of the uh, safety and um, like ride restrictions. Yeah, longest one at a Merlin theme park in the UK, I think. 
so as you saw there once again we're going on to the oh flying fish. Big fan of this ride, aren't you? Yeah. How many laps do you think we'll get this time? I'm, go I'm going on three. Four. I think we're going to be dropped down to three. Although, saying that, no queue, so we could be in luck. But yeah, back on flying fish again. So that brings us to the end of our day here at the Fort Park Resort. Unfortunately guys, I didn't manage to get her on stealth. She managed to escape it. How many likes on this video would make you go on stealth for your next return visit? She'll probably be Fright Nights kind of time. Oh, one million. <laughs> one million. Oh my goodness. Is that, is that what you're sticking with? Is it? No. How many likes? Yeah. Uh, 2,000. 2,000. Okay. You know, if you guys want to see my mum's <laughs> reaction to the fastest ride in the UK, leave a like on this video. But have you, <laughs> have you had a good day though, yeah, mum? Yeah, it's been great. Great Thank getting you. back to the Fort Park Resort. We get on quite a lot, to be fair. We did, we did a lot. Social distancing wise, have you been impressed? Very impressed, or? yeah, very impressed. Lots of people sticking to it, yeah. Oh, great to hear. And the mask, the SLK mask. Brilliant. Yeah. Come up at all. These guys are being dropped very soon, so keep an eye on my social media channels. They're super limited. They'll literally only be available for a limited amount of time, so be sure to lock very in. Very comfy. Very. Oh, thank you so much, bless her. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching this video, and thank you to my mum for coming along today. It's been a very fun one, and yeah, be sure to subscribe for future videos. I'm always at the Fort Park Resort and other theme parks around the world. So be sure to subscribe, and otherwise. Thank you all very much for watching. My name is Jack Silkstone. Goodbye. Yeah, dripped out now I'm vibing. Link with the voice, jump straight to the island. Silkstone flex on a wave like tidal. Style so crazy, I hit it in a silence.